Wilson. Links it back in. Headed down. Bryson gets it. Gets a good crossing. Headed back. Anderson scores! The player manager on his debut! Thrashes the ball past the goalkeeper! And you can't! Dreams don't come better than that! Hits the wall. And breaks. O'Regan's across. Throw in. Hunt. Turns. Cross comes in. Headed. Chance. A goal! Charlton has scored in the last minute. Donovan. Donovan has scored in the last minute. the Bradley. Sizing it up. Oh, he's hit the post. It was a fine effort by the skipper. Allison just shrugged off the ball and suddenly Oxford are forward here with Robinson. Brilliant goal. Let Robinson... This is Taylor for West Brom. Might have a goal. Keys lost it. Hunt has equalised for West Brom. Galvian. No walls header. Bradley. Well, Donovan has got clear. Can he finish it? He will. I know. I think he will. Simply does he? Taylor. It's a good cross. Oh! Andy Hunt. Bradley. Oh, brilliant save by Key. Hamilton. Bradley just been named out of the match. ball but Hunt came away with the ball will he go on his own here he's flicked it through to O'Regan O'Regan scores and that'll finish it the two old Huddersfield lads celebrate Donovan and O'Regan and the Hunt made the goal Steve Lowell completing the clearance. Tilson returns it. And Bob Taylor is onside. And it's a penalty. Penalty kick. Oh, it is hit the bar. Oh, dear. Well, well, well.
Spencer. Good interception, Strodder. That's a lovely ball there from Bradley. Andy Hunt, corner kick. Hamilton prefers to get the ball in the danger area. It's there, it's a goal. The danger area, it certainly was. On the end of Bob Taylor's boot. 50 minutes gone. Bob Taylor's first of the season. Good flick on there. It's a goal. It's number two. Taylor's done it again. Taylor's done it again. 55 minutes. Hardy with a long one. And it is long. It's fallen for Payne. It's a goal. It's a goal there. Turned in by Brett Angel. Hamilton. Need to slow it down the baggies of. Get into the corners and take the heat out of it. But he's Otto. Ricky Otto, he's got men forward. It's a goal. Southern have done it. Brett Angel again. Well, well, well. The bag is caught on the break. There. Who took the walls? Already. Took in possession. Glorious ball to Birch, both Bull and Kelly in the penalty area. Bull! <laughs> and the clearance reaches O'Regan, that could have gone anywhere through a crowd of players. And turned in again, dangerously. Stowell was obstructed possibly as he went up for that ball. They've got away with it though, now Lilwall. Real pressure on Wolves, Thomas gets it away, only as far as Bradley. Burgess winning the header then on the edge of the box. And good play from Donovan, setting up the opening, but it didn't quite come properly for him. They've done well here, Albion. Burgess driving it in. Oh, it's a tremendous header. The equaliser following so quickly. the throw and can get it back from Birch not forward and O'Regan has missed his kick so the Regis gets his first touch find Thomas wasn't a very good ball to Keane it was a brave header by Faraday to win it back for Albion we've got four players forward in this attack one of them is Hunt another one is Bradley tremendous goal oh what a goal Regis, that's a lovely header. Kelly didn't quite read it, perhaps, but he's read that one okay and knows it's gone behind for a corner from Ravens' clearance. Oh, the header by Venus, and it's turned in. Jeff Thomas gets Wolves level. 2 2. Which is essentially his real position. Here's Hunt. Hamilton, good break on by Albion here, they've got a lot of players forward, O'Regan in possession, Donovan's made a good run to his right, and he held it a bit too long there, O'Regan, but it's broken to Ampadu, useful looking cross here as well, oh, it's three! And the move paid off instantly, the substitute provided a cross, and Donovan who moved forward from midfield to attack, from McSwigan turns it inside Lund back with Draper shot it's in Mark Draper whether it took a deflection off Andy Leg, I'm not sure but Knox County go into the lead Gary McSwigan it was he's just his second come on
Zegs trying to make a better one. He makes some space. Ashcroft. Cross in. And it's Bernie McNally. It puts West Brom in front. But to be fair, Albion's attack was also patchy. Up until about the 40th minutes. And it's a chance and a goal for Peter Burke. Chimmer Okori. Trying to make life difficult for the Albion defence. He's parsley bringing it away. It's Garner. Takes it on. Goes for a run. Draw it down. And the referee won't mark that one. And it's a long goal from the free kick. Becky Mallon just lets it go. Nobody moves in the Peterborough defence. Raven takes it wide again to Ashcroft curls it in Mongonard half a clearance maybe Darton and it's a goal from young Scott Darton his first in senior Albion colours A poor cross, falls for low wall. Got the corner. Well, oh, Taylor's in there. Taylor scores. They didn't pick him up as he made his way in. And that's an easy goal for Bob Taylor. His third of the season, and West Bromwich Albion take the lead. Goes Armstrong, Will Wall's header out, Coleman with the header. Brilliant goal by Coleman. They didn't pick him up. And Palace are back on level terms. Southgate. That's Faraday up against White. Armstrong's in the middle, they've got men over here, Palace. Good goal, brilliantly taken goal by White. They had men over them, Palace. His goal scorer, White. And again, they've caught them out in the break here. Tony Lang's had to come out, he's missed it. This is Gareth Southgate, and that's 3-1. And Crystal Palace are really giving a West Bromwich Albion a lesson in this first division football. Armstrong. Here he is, Armstrong. There's number four. Chris Armstrong, always the main danger. And we give him a chance like that. Say that. Well played. Hamilton brings it inside. Balls for Donovan. Brilliant goal. No. I think the referee's a walk. No, he hasn't. The goal stands. The referee looked long and hard at his linesman then. But Donovan's goal does stand. Corner for Chelsea. Easy. Oh, no. Yeah. It's in there. Lang, I thought, had made the save. It just has not got going. Maybe now it will. The free kick swung in. Yep, it's going now. Goal for Middlesbrough. Nicky Mullen. West Bromwich Albion are behind. Ashcroft. Raven. Taylor. Good goal, Bob Taylor. Raven 
Ryan just didn't want to have a go, did he? You think over the last three games you've you've learnt any lessons as you've you progressed from the second division to this first division? I think you're just going to get punished. The only lesson that we found out is that we're going to get punished for um, the mistakes we're making at the back more than what we did so last year. But is the standard of this division taking a little longer to cope with that you, that you actually thought yourself? Maybe it is, yeah, maybe that's the thing. Um, I don't think it's any quicker than what it was last year. I think you're just getting more quality players, obviously, from moving up. Um, as I say, it's just taking a little bit more time to adapt than probably what I thought we would do. Williams to Simpson. And back again to Williams. First time cross is a difficult one and Raven has missed it. And Kipson has scored. And for Doom, not sure he really wanted the ball there, but he uh, finds O'Regan. Hunt. Now, who was fouling who there? The referee decides no one. Cool to Simpson. Leaves it to Kitson. Well played. Abiadini. It's a good cross to Simpson is there. It's 2-0. It's a good header, and it's turned in. 2-1. Taylor will claim it, whether it was going in or not is really immaterial as far as West Brom are concerned. They've got a goal back, and almost instantly, and that really makes a game of it now. Raven gets it clear at the other end. Parsley gives it back to Martin Cool. Forsyth wins it back. Now Kitson to Cabiadini to Williams. Good football, Simpson, Kitson on the far post, was that handball? It was, it's a penalty, Neil Parsley has given away a penalty, deliberate handball, and it is, Aviadini wins it back, this is Kitson, intelligent player, four side, Simpson, Kitson, Cambridge, Simpson, 4-1. There goes Mickey Mellon, perhaps the game not dead yet as far as West Brom are concerned. Good looking ball in towards Taylor on the far post, here's Hunt. It's not dead, is it? Good goal by Andy Hunt. I'll tell you where West Brom are concerned. A side capable of scoring goals can never be written off. Someone with a pocket calculator informed me it's about a goal every three minutes here in the second half. As Hunt slides it forward to O'Regan, we might have another for Hunt. Hunt! My word! They have produced another! Fourth three! Charles knocks it forward. Kitson. Burgess across to cover. Now Charles with the cross, and it's a good one, and Gabbiadini takes it brilliantly! What a fine save by Lang. That was superbly struck by Gabbiadini. And a good one too, and Gabbiadini puts it on and short! It's 5-3. Craig short. Well, here's Wise again, edge of the box. This is Taylor, has Hunt inside him. It's three against two at the moment. Bob Taylor goes himself and shoots. It's there. What a thunderbolt 
out of a strike from Bob Taylor. Newton on the overlap. Still Newton. And it's Dennis Wise with... Slipped his man well. Can he get the cross in? That's a great ball. Goodman with a shot. Well, he was under pressure from Ampadu. And it came off Ampadu's outstretched leg for the corner. Dolby making the run in. This is Ray. Good play by Ray. The header back by Dolby. Oh, it's there! Goodman stole it. but still relatively inexperienced. Stevens with the header. Hit out by Taylor. Chance here for Alex Ray, and that's a penalty! Little doubt about that one either. Alex Ray pushed the ball past his man. Makes it all more anxious for the uh, taker, but Alex Ray celebrates. He sent Lang the wrong way, and Mill will lead West Bromwich Albion by two goals to nil. Corner then for Albion. Keller has got his hat on now and uh, didn't quite make that one. Hunt. Hunt with a shot. Oh, and Keller didn't know much about that. It's still in play. A chance here for Bradley and he scored. Darren Bradley forces it in at the third attempt. O'Regan. O'Regan loses out there. It's a chance for Masada. For the centre forward, it's a goal. Number one. Hamilton needs to dig. He didn't. It's a good break for the Italians. Mobile, Nobile. Nobile again there. Nail has got a hand to it. It's a goal. That is a shattering blow for the Baggies. He still doesn't go. It's a chance for Taylor, it's a goal, it's a goal. Albion quickly back in the game there. Well, it's hanging there, Taylor! A dream start to the second half for West Brom. Darren Bradley flicks it in, Taylor, and Hunt was in there, oh, brilliant goal, Gary Stoddart, he'll be selling them all about that one tonight, taken quickly, O'Regan, now Bradley, Parsley, hooks the cross back in, in there, and that's the goal, scores another goal and West Brom and Albion are three and up. together. Crowd incensed then because the ball wasn't played through to Ashcroft. That wasn't a foul apparently. Hunt is not offside. He's finished it. Andy Hunt scores. Taylor may have got away here. It's fallen for Ashcroft, has it? No, the clearance. Not good. It's fallen for Hamilton. It's been deflected in. Ian Hamilton will claim it though. Ashcroft. 
Oh, well, they got in each other's way then. Solomon. Dublin. Oh, and he's got the ball back, Dublin. Got a usual position for him. It's a long, long strike, and that is a fabulous goal. Jason Solomon. Through to Parsley. It's a good play. It needs a good cross. Parsley gets it back off Ashcroft. Donovan. Dublin with a clearance. Straight back to Donovan. Ashcroft. Taylor was coming in. Scores! O'Regan to Lillwall. Given away by Ashby. Taylor, a sudden burst of acceleration. Good tackle though. Barry Ashby got back to make the tackle after it was his error. But let Taylor in. O'Regan through to Hunt. That's number four. Good play by O'Regan and Andy Hunt came in on the blind side, didn't they? Welcome three points, uh, Kieran. The boss must be happy with you. Uh, he's very pleased, but um, we've got another job to do next Tuesday night against Tramier. Um, and today I felt we played well, but we've got to build on this. Um, and as I said, we've got Tramier Tuesday, so hopefully we can go there and get a result as well. Yeah, now this away, re this away record must be giving you some, some concern. Yeah, obviously it's uh, causing us a bit of concern at the moment, but uh, the confidence among the players is, is still very good. And um, we just need one or two results to go for us really, and hopefully today was the start of that. Here, trying to close Bradley down, he plays the ball long. Taylor again was looking to get in. Donovan for West Brom. Hunt to his left, finds Hunt. Oh, and he shot wide. Another opportunity goes begging. Ashcroft plays the ball back in. Hunt this time he scores. Lee Ashcroft with the cross, and Andy Hunt at the far post. He made up for his earlier error and headed the ball in. It's a good break, this by McAteer. Ampadu with him. No foul, and McAteer disgusted with the linesman. Oh, and Davison has made an error. Taylor was pulled back. It's a penalty, but Aidan Davison must be in trouble. with a great deal of work to do now. Pode puts that out. Oh, that's dangerous. Patterson. Coyle. Scott Green with a header. Taylor. Ampadu has been dispossessed. Oh, Scott Ball. Owen Coyle. On the Bolton left-hand side. 
Phillips. The shot coming in, and an equaliser! Jason McAteer with a dramatic equaliser for Bolton Wanderers. What a storming goal there. Ashcroft this time, pinging it long. Higgs. Still in play, Ashcroft drives it in. Oh, it only wanted a touch. There was the touch. It only wanted a touch, and there it was. Ian Hamilton. But to be fair, they've not really looked in trouble, apart from that earlier break. And here's a chance for another. It's an own goal. OG. On goal. From Margot Trans Francesetti, put in the Albion, two up. Ruffini played it, it's a goal. Got one back. 31 minutes as a second chance. Same result to a red shirt. It's a good ball there. From Minero. Number seven, Montreux, and it's a goal. It is now. Two goals each. Gets it forward. Minero heading it on to Cardini. Got Gardino in support. Clipping it in for the near post. Oh, it's missed there. Let off for the Alvin. Good chance. It's a goal. It's a goal. What on earth were the Alvin defenders thinking of there? O'Regan, McNally, Taylor, lovely ball to Ashcroft. Oh, Garner must score. There it is. Great goal from the Baggies. This goal's you on, the Hawthorne's the place to be. That's a Milano Rosa. The Italian sub curls it in dangerously. It's a goal. Yes. It's given it. Burgess. It's a useful cross. And the hunt was up there. It's yeah. in. Ball's in. Bob Taylor with the goal. And West Brom and Albion have taken the lead. And the hunt, good turn. O'Regan. By Taylor. It's fallen to him again here. Tries to bustle his way through. Brilliant goal by Kieran O'Regan. 
sweetly took on the right foot and into the corner of the goal. Martin, well played. Now he wants to carry the run on, but... Raven missed the challenge, Hamilton there with Walsh, Walsh has got past him, cuts it back, there's the finish, Alan McLaughlin, that's 2-1. The header out, fallen for Andy Hunt, now this is a promising situation if it's used correctly, Bob Taylor on the right hand side, still Bob Taylor, he flicks it across, that's the goal that kills it off. Bob Taylor has hurt himself in that challenge, but the Birmingham Road salute Andy Hunt for the third goal. But uh, I think the main thing today, which has really pleased me and it'll please a lot of Albion fans, is that the, the defence has looked has looked better than what it has done for a long time. I think we found found the combination there. Just so hope we can sign uh, Young Williams. Well, this is another chance here. This is Bob Taylor, there's three waiting for it. Cross comes in. Just can't stop scoring goals at the moment. This comes in. Burgess gets the header. I think it was Burgess, but uh, Kelly gets it clear. Long to coil, but he's up on his own, and Marden plenty of time to pick out a colleague if he's. Not careful, he's going to lose it. Williams, who's been a bit suspect on those back passes tonight. But Lange, that's offside! Well, the linesman saying no, and here's Ashcroft. Oh, it's in! They've snatched it! Andy Hunt gets the goal for West Brom in the dying moments of this game. And the... What a way to get a goal. Well, it'll be... Talking about points, welcome points and all the rest of it. I'm sure West Brom, as I said, in their lowly position will be chuffed with those. But it's not over with yet. Bolton still got something to... Yes, it's there! Oh, he coil gets the equaliser. Well, I think there might be a little bit of justice in that. It's not been a lot between the teams. Cracking goal from Owen Coyle. And again he's in here, put the shot in and got the goal, Andy Payton, his third goal in four games for Barnsley, what a signing he's turned out to be for Viv Anderson. Hamilton it was with the header, Mellon, still Mickey Mellon, oh look at that, burst of pace from Mellon, now he needs some support, Carl Heggs wants it, Mellon's going alone. Then. 
<laughs> now you've got two games in two days coming up. How will that affect the players? Um, well, right now I'm, I'm feeling tired, but I don't think you have to get lifted for the second game, which is mm. against Blues, which will be great. You know, the lads are all really looking forward to it. Big, big crowd, so no problem at all, especially getting out there. We're really looking forward to playing in front of a big crowd. Burgess with the free kick. A low wall under pressure, but makes his clearance. Straight back by Bryant. O'Regan. Too many red shirts there. Is Scott. Tinian, little shimmy, and the finish to match it. Brian Tinian with a goal just before half time to set the Bristol City fans wild behind that goal. Getting it forward for Dixon. Excellent target man, Raven beaten to at that time. Martins in trouble. He's loose in David Priest. It could be a goal. It is. Terrible tragedy there for Paul Martin. Had such a good afternoon. Stacey Caldy got. There goes Mickey Millen down the middle. He's got it. Took it in his stride so firmly. It must be a goal. There it is. A goal it is. So good strike by the Baggies. Short one to Walsh. It's Robson. Going to bring the ball out. He finds the base. He's part two. Yes! What a lovely goal. The West Brom defence just stood there. Headed down, yes, it's there. Lee Byrne has scored. Lee Byrne's pulling away. Corner from Walsh. I'll make that 89 minutes. Not many seats are free. Of course, people are starting to wander away now on 90 minutes, but they've stayed to the end. And through the conditions, they're breaking away. And there's a goal. Score looks like number 11, Hamilton. and drills it. Roberts with a header. Whistler with a shot. Well, when the 
the final whistle goes in a couple of minutes time I think uh, everyone in this ground should stand and applaud these players Thompson Roberts oh it's gone in the cross from Roberts Lang and Marden getting in a terrible mix up and then hard as Albion tried they just couldn't get that vital goal which would have really brought them back into this game they might get a consolation here Hamilton inside to Mellon it's there to take the kick. Raven was in there. It's eventually cleared. Vivier with that header. It's fallen for Mellon. Onside, Kevin Donovan. Across the face of goal. It could have been turned in. Hamilton. And Fenton. Fenton is onside here. Hamilton's waiting for it. He can't quite get there. Chamberlain, the summer signing from Luton Town. Free transfer, he serves them them well so far this season. Very good value. Hamilton's quick ball, Fenton onto it like lightning here. Turn it back in, Donovan! Well played, Fenton. Lovely finish, Donovan. little touch. Fenton's in here. Went for the shot. Brilliant goal. Truly magnificent. Marden. Oh, it's a difficult one. Was that a hand? I think West Brom are going to have to make a change because Paul Martin doesn't look fit to continue. But meanwhile, there's a penalty. Bob Taylor. Oh, and he's missed it. So 
Well, Gray. Goodman. No, penalty. Phil Gray with the opportunity to pull something back for Sunderland and a real lifeline for them. Phil Gray. Oh, he put it in there, will he? No, he's missed it. Stuart Naylor makes amends for the foul. Smith. Still Martin Smith. Went for the shot. And Naylor has just turned it round the post. Plays it into the near post. Strodder's there to meet it. And it has gone in, and it's Don Goodman with five minutes to go. Roy's header. Neil Parsley. Forward he goes. Taylor has made some tremendous space for himself. Turns it in. Ryan Fenton is there again for West Brom. Three of them waiting for the cross. Ormond draws one of them, and little flick crossbar in by Roberts. Right on the stroke of half time. For football, Mills. Ormond droid. Footed the Albion defenders. some of the header out Smith Bradley now this cross tricky one oh, hit the top of the crossbar in fact looking to set something going again for Nos County but he's lost out Raven dangerous game West Brom are playing here the centre-backs are now well and truly forward 
is one of them Raven. And here's the full back Burgess. Tricky cross, goalkeeper's come for it, he hasn't got there. That's it! That's in by Bob Taylor. Johnson. Again with a header out. Better cross, Taylor's header, it's in there! The second goal for Bob Taylor, and oh, how so crucial it could be. Great cross. Turn by Donovan. Donovan again. Hamilton sent. Sprawling to the floor by Johnson. Can West Brom seal the game with on down? Yes, they can. It's sealed now. And the Hunt's back in the goal scoring trend as well. Good running again. Wilkinson, that's a goal. Alan Moore, officials looking at each other, but that's the lead for Middlesbrough. Ten minutes left in the half. It's been all Middlesbrough, but they've just got one goal to show for it. Peak stretching. Peak for Wilkinson. Pollock, he's got another chance. Can he do it this time? No mistake, Jamie Pollock takes the chance, and it's 2-0 the Borough. He can turn around and leave him and cause serious trouble. Corner kick to the Borough, though. Alan Moore to take it. The tall men have gone forward. Wilkinson again getting underneath it. Hendry, what a goal! John Hendry! The overhead kick, and Hendry is really back. Johnson. It's in there. He's made up for the one he missed earlier. Tommy Johnson with the first goal of the afternoon for Derby County. Johnson, great turn. Tackle came in from Burgess. Balls for Harks. Smith gets in. Well played. Gary Charles. Easy goal for Simpson, it's 2-0 for Derby County. Gary Charles on the overlap, he crossed it back in, and it was such an easy goal for Simpson. Hunt. Burgess. Poor cross. Smith was onto it, and then he was fouled by Charles. Paul Williams. Looking to go on the goal line even, but he's come forward free kick deflection and it's put in by Donovan Albion might have got themselves back into it Nice 
Hunt gets the cross in and Donovan gets the flick in. It took a long time coming, 65 minutes or thereabouts. But it's the Albion fans and they know much. It's Lieber. Maybe what he meant. That's a last ditch ball. But Charlton can have another dig. Here's Garland. It's away. And Mallon. Four against two if he can keep the run going. Needs to find Hunt possibly. Goes himself, finds Hunt. And Hunt puts away the chance. West Bromwich Albion's hopes for the season extend only to avoiding relegation. They moved a step nearer with a point at Oxford where Bob Taylor put them ahead. Kevin Donovan came close to adding a second. Had this gone in, rather than neatly finding its way back to a beaten keeper, Albion may well have been two points further from relegation. As it was, Oxford's equaliser meant a share in two points, thanks to Paul Moody. It was an end to the scoring, but not the end of the story. Both sides ended with ten men after this incident. Albion took exception to the challenge, and from here on, it all got just a little silly. The result was a sending off for Albion's Paul Raven and Oxford's Alex Dyer. West Brom then. Wallace and Devin both on this side. Wallace peeled his way through to Thomas. The shot comes in. Another equaliser. Obstruction by Thomas. It's away by Proctor. The break on here, Morrissey. Irons. Here's Irons. It's another one. Bristol City and Oxford shown real battling qualities and they're certainly going to need those in their remaining games to get out of trouble. Woan for Nottingham Forest looking for an immediate return to the top flight. Woan knocks it forward for Collymore to chase. Danger here. It's a long way out. There's no 
for Stuart Pearce. Opportunity for David Phillips, perhaps, to show how well he can hit the ball, although it is a long way out of this. As I thought he would, just lift it up. It wasn't a bad effort either. Oh, that was a brilliant save to prevent an own goal. Coming up to the midway point of the second half, and Forrest still leading 1-0, they'll have a corner. Wone swings it in, it's dangerous, and Collymore got in on the near post. Albion got it away for another corner. And it goes Cooper steaming in! Superb goal by Colly Cooper! 2-0 to Forrest. Marden made a fine challenge again. He doesn't deserve to be on the winning side. <laughs> the losing side, I should just say. just going to say, <laughs> yeah, sorry, you might not be on the winning side. <laughs> Hunt skipping inside again. Taylor. Back it goes to Hunt. This is Taylor. Oh, well played. He stumbled at the vital moment but finds the net. He got a crack in the face. side again he'll be looking for Ashcroft now here Perhaps he doesn't he bypasses him Taylor's made a very good run Futcher's following him all the way knocked into the back post Hunt's there he's been put in by Donovan rise on half time and Kevin Donovan scores what could be a very priceless goal for West Bromwich Albion 
Tony Ford. Pressure back on West Brom again. Croft. As the header by Strutter, which put everybody off. And Strutter again just about got it out. It's fallen for Ford. Back post it comes. And it's headed over the bar by Hamilton. That time it was very nearly in again. Flicked on by Strutter of all people. Strutter's in there again. He's that's header in and over the bar it went. <laughs> For one moment, everybody thought that was in. pictures you'll see, the men taking them anyway, in tomorrow's papers. Well, it's a bit late from Stuart Doling, and I think it might be a card, or at the very least a talking to. Well, Donovan did well, chance for Hunt, but he's offside. It won't count, it won't count. and he's done well. Stipson, and it's gone in! West Bromwich Albion have taken the lead right on the stroke of half-time. Lee Ashcroft, the scorer. It was a far post cross. Portsmouth were always in trouble. See it again here. Excellent delivery. Knight got a hand to it, but he couldn't keep it out. Burton. Oh, chance 
here, surely. And it's off the line. Was it a great save, I think? Burton. That's good play from Portsmouth. Here's Wood. He's got Hall outside him again. He's looked a real live wire so far the second half. Trying to take on Parsley. He's done that. It's a good try. What a great save by Stuart Naylor. Terrific football. And Parsley stuck to his men today very, very tightly indeed. Chasing by Bob Taylor, kills a bit of time. Butters couldn't beat him to it. And the referee being implored to blow the whistle, which he now has done. And West Bromwich Albion have maintained their first division status with a 1-0 win at Fratton Park. A goal scored by Lee Ashcroft just before half-time was enough. For Portsmouth, it's a disappointing end to what, in all honesty, has been a disappointing season. But Portsmouth are almost forgotten as the West Brom, pit, the West Brom fans invade this pitch. It's a sea of green and yellow because West Brom are staying in the first division of the Ensley League. The rest of the results don't matter anymore. The final score from a jubilant Fratton Park. It's Portsmouth nil, West Brom is Albion 1. Keith, have you recovered from yesterday? I've had an emotional day. Well, just about. It was emotional. It, the, it's been a stressful situation, I suppose, for the last month or so. And uh, it's been touch and go whether we stayed up. Uh, I thought the lads did magnificently well yesterday. Uh, they showed uh, what they can really do when they uh, set the stall out. And uh, I suppose over the 90 minutes, it should have been much more than 1-0. I wasn't interested in the other scores. Uh, I don't think I could have taken that as well. Somebody <laughs> telling me what uh, Tranmere and Birmingham, Birmingham were doing and things like that. But it's just nice to remain in this league and, and then we've got to go on from there, obviously. Um, I do think that we've got a lot of potential at this club. Uh, from a club point of view, I think it's a big, big club that, that has got to go forward. And from a player point of view, I think that uh, there's only one way we can go, and that's upwards. What was your feeling, and the players and yourself, as you come up the tunnel and saw that the Birmingham Road end seemed to have moved to Portsmouth? Well, this place, uh, as far as spectators are concerned, it, it always amazes me. I don't think that any other club would have got 10, 12,000 people there um, for that sort of a match. I see that Birmingham, were, they were patting themselves on the back that they got 7,000 up at Tranmere, which oh. wasn't half as far as Portsmouth is. They are fantastic people. Uh, they support the club and they really do get behind us. They're so vociferous away from home, it's untrue. And it wills you to do well for them. And I think that the players responded to that yesterday. And I think, looking at the running, I think you wouldn't say, but we didn't have a break in the about four games. And you must have been pleased that we just had a little bit of luck at Ben Scrimsby and then the players showed what bottle they'd got in the last match. Yeah, they, they forced that win, didn't they? Um, they knew that uh, it was the season uh, hung on that one result, and I think they responded to that. And uh, it shows how much they can do when they really set the, set the stall out, as I've said before. Anyway, Keith, good luck to you in the place for the summer. Have a nice rest, and let's hope it's uh, a little bit better. I don't think you want to go through this again, do you, Keith? Another no, last game. I certainly don't want to go through that again, and uh, we've got to make sure that, uh, that we don't get that situation arising. Bob? What about the support of Portsmouth then? It must have been great when you came out and saw that many people. Yeah, we got off uh, as the bus came down there, the lane towards there, the ground. I mean, the streets were packed with our supporters. 
and uh, you know there was a few thousand outside and we just thought you know they're waiting to get in and all that and then we went straight out onto the pitch and we couldn't believe half the ground was already full the supporters and you know like there's another two three thousand people outside waiting to get in it was just like the birmingham road end had moved here wasn't it you know into portsmouth it just like we took over although we're knocking the birmingham road end down i think they've all moved to portsmouth well, yeah, I mean, you know, it was, I mean, that was a good thing for the lads, I think, to see all the fans like that. I mean, it, it really got us uh, going, geared us up a bit. And, uh, you know, to see that m amount of support that you can bring to away games is uh, phenomenal phenomenal for, for us. And, you know, it's absolutely brilliant. And you must be pleased, Bob, with 21 goals in the first division after your exports last uh, year for us. Yeah, I was, you know, I, I mean, I, I feel the strikers got to get 20 goals a season, you know, um, to keep ticking over uh, regular. And uh, I did that. Um, I'm just looking forward to next season. And, uh, you know, Hopefully, for the team's sake, we can do a lot better and hopefully I can score a few more goals than what I did this year. And you signed off at Luton with a great individual goal, which is in the running for goal of the season, I've been told, by the commercial department, so that's good news for you. Oh, well, it's the first one I've ever scored like that. But, uh, it's a brilliant it's a, goal. A leaf out of Kevin Donovan's boot. Well done, Bob. And Gary, what a performance in the last few matches. You really played well. Lots of spirit and commitment. You must have been very pleased. Yeah, I've enjoyed the uh, running to the end of the season. Uh, pressure games and what have you, but, you know, the lads have come through it well. It was like last year, you came in when uh, we had Darryl injured last year and played so well in the semi-final and the final, and you've been our man in need again, and one, one centre came across about five minutes from the end and you towered above everybody and thumped it out and got flattened. I mean, that was a brilliant last-minute header, and I just found out then that Blues had made it 2-1. I don't know if you realise that, but... No, we didn't hear anything on the pitch. We hadn't us. heard anything on the pitch. Nothing got back to us, but like Bob said, we, uh, we couldn't do anything else but win yesterday in front of that support. Paul, yeah. well, what was it like yesterday for you at the back? With Gary, it's been nerve wracking. Well, yeah, it was a bit air raising at times, as uh, obviously you can appreciate, but it was, it was a great day, really, and uh, one to remember, certainly. I think the team played with commitment. It's a bit one of the best team performances I've seen, with the pressure really on. We did, we had to have a bit of, showed a bit of steely resolve uh, towards the second half, you know. They, uh, surprisingly enough, they, they threw a lot of men forward at times, and uh, no, they really went for it. It was not an end of the season game for them. Well, there's four players booked from Portsmouth. I mean, it was to totally committed, wasn't it? I mean, I, I don't know how you felt, but um, when, I, when I first came up the tunnel and saw the Birmingham Road and had moved to Portsmouth, that must have been a great incentive for you to do it. Yeah, it was. It was tremendous. Uh, funny enough, when we arrived at the ground, there seems to be 10,000 people outside the ground. Uh, we went straight in to have a look at the pitch. And uh, the terraces were already full. Bob Taylor said that. Well, what was it like for you sweating out, sort of watching the, the last three games? Yeah, it's hard. I don't like uh, watching football, and it's frustrating to be suspended for the three games. So, in the end, it was, you know, just so nice to get back for the last game and uh, get the result. See it again here. Excellent delivery. Knight got a hand to it, but he couldn't keep it out. 